Okay, so you've been to our website and you've bought yourself an electronic ignition for your classic car. This is a quick three minute video to show you how simple they are to fit. We're fitting a K6 kit to a VW, which is a set of our L17HT leads modified with 90 degree terminals at the cap. It also has a Viper VCS dry resin coil. For safety reasons, you might want to disconnect the battery before you begin, but once you've done that, just remove the cap and then remove the rotor arm. This Bosch has got a dust cover underneath that, so remove that as well. And then you can get to the points. The points are held in with a single screw on this distributor, so remove that and don't lose it because you'll need it later. And then just disconnect the points and lift them away. The condenser's around the back on this car, so I'm going to just slacken off the distributor clamp and rotate it so I can get to the condenser and remove that. Again, a single screw then disconnect it from the coil. OK, you can then take the kit and first of all feed the wires through the grommet hole and then just trial fit the ignition module so you know exactly where it's going to go. And once you're happy with where it goes, just put a little bit of thermal paste on the underside before fixing it properly with the screw that you removed when you removed the points. Next you fit the magnetic trigger ring that fits over the points cam and then when that's fully down you can put the rotor arm back on. Then just refit the cap. On a negative earth kit like the K6 there are two wires to connect. Connect the red wire to the positive terminal on the coil. Connect the black wire to the negative terminal on the coil. You might also need to disconnect any wires you've got on the negative side, such as a connection to your rev counter. After installing the kit, we recommend that you check the timing dynamically, especially if, like we did, you move the distributor during the install. With an SVDA distributor in an air-cooled VW, you should set the timing to around 30 to 32 degrees before top dead centre, vacuum hose disconnected. We're using a TL200 timing light so we can dial in the 32 degrees on the light and use the TDC mark on the pulley. Perfect. Then just tighten up the distributor clamp, reattach the vacuum hose and your taco lead. And that's it. You're all done. You've got electronic ignition. Wasn't that easy. Thanks for watching.